Wet plate collodion is a process that was uh, used in the 1850s. It is a handmade process. It's all done on site. The photographer has to have a portable darkroom, a camera. It's all made by hand. You coat the plate with uh, different chemicals, and it gets loaded into a film holder, stuck into the camera, exposed to the camera, and it gets thrown back into the darkroom and uh, comes out. We have some magic. Here's the alien stage. He looks like a grown up. <laughs> I'm dying to be Look a grown up. Look at you, you're a big boy. I was about to say, you gotta keep this stuff away from Brian Bonds, they'd be huffing it. We were at a Renaissance fair, and there was a guy dressed up as a pirate, and he was taking tin types. And at, at the time, I didn't know anything about the process, and it just blew my mind. I'm like, what is this? What is that guy doing? What is he doing in that box? What's happening? It really freaked me out and intrigued me and I was so nervous I didn't ask the guy questions. Like I, I kind of like, I had to step back from it. I was like, what is happening? I love doing the street stuff. The street stuff is what brought me to that site. The process is only sensitive to UV light, which makes it also very difficult to expose. And nothing is about it easy. It's all pain in the ass. It's a huge, huge pain in the butt. Pain in the butt photography process that I love.